True. People don't like to look within, you know what I mean? Because they find some some ugly, some nasty, some hurtful things. Oh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Why you take your glasses off? Because you can't see my eyes, really. And I have more. Oh, okay, I see. It looks like... <laughs> what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, CJ. And Keisha. Back at you again with another video. And today... We're talking about healing. So... What led me to realizing I needed to do some healing work. Uh, I injured my back roughly about a year ago. And the problem would, it would, it would be back and forth. It would be good. It would be bothering me. It would be good. Back and forth. So, um, in the middle of getting injured, uh, I let my health go. I wasn't working out like I should have been. I wasn't eating right. So... Keisha was always telling me, you need to meditate, you need to meditate, you need to do what you got to do so we can get this, so we can get this stuff situated. So I just would never listen because she always would tell me to do it. So the injury finally slowed me down to the point where it was just like, this is crazy. Like, I can't even really move as much as I need to move. I can't get around like I need to get around to even be able to do normal, everyday life routine stuff. So I meditated. She told me when I did the meditation, what I needed to do, be, be specific and exact. So I went into the meditation with the intentions on receiving information to figure out what I could do to help with the problem in my back injury. So in the middle of doing all this, the meditation, this and that, and the third, um, immediately afterwards, I think I meditated probably for about 30 to 45 minutes or how long was it? About, about 45 minutes about to an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. And the first thing I saw was um, a deep a deep tissue massage gun. It was an ad on Facebook. You know how they just do like random ads on your Facebook account of certain things. I just was, I constantly saw these deep tissue massagers reoccurring. Like I would see one ad and then, you know, I just would keep on strolling. And then I would see a bunch of other different ads. But when I finally realized that maybe I need to look into getting one of these deep tissue massagers, um, I just took a mental note and just kept on going. So um, prior to this, I saw something about, is it chia seed? Mm -hmm. And that was the natural blood pressure lower, or hold on, I'm jumping all over the place. I moved from back injury to blood pressure. But it's just crazy how it just it all ties in together because um through the meditation I you know I saw that I needed to change my eating habits. I needed to change my ways um as far as things that I was putting in my body, creating my own problem pretty much. Would you like to say something? To kinda help me like oh, okay. Tenor, so, I, <laughs> yeah, you good. The reason you're jumping all over the place is that's exactly how it works. When you go into meditation, that's why I always advocate for meditation because meditation is the way you receive your messages and your signs from your oversoul, your spirit guides, and the angels, whoever you w might want to call them. That's how you receive those messages. You go into that meditation so you can hear them. And so... What I expressed to him was that the way for him to receive what he needs as far as bettering his health is he has to go within. He needs to ask himself those questions like, show me the signs. He needs to request those signs, request that knowledge, and it'll like come to you. But it's not just going to fall into your lap. Like You'll be shown things. So it's not going to be like, boom, here's the answer. Here's how you fix right. it. It's like... Um, it'll be like like a little trail of things that lead you to where you need to be. So he saw an advertisement for uh, the massage tool, but it was up to him to purchase the massage tool. The advertisement, because with working on his back injury, um, he developed sciatica and so his leg was stiffened up and the only way to try to, to get him mobile again was to massage the area. So the tool that was advertised was a deep tissue massager and um so i just want to explain how um how you do receive the information it doesn't just pop up in front of you it's not like a big sign or anything you're not going to hear like some um voice uh in the sky yelling at you as to what you need to do it's like 
you're going to be shown subtle signs, but you have to pay attention to those signs once you ask for them. And one of the things that I realized helped um, was it raise my enlightenment to even be able to acknowledge that oh, raise your frequency. my frequency to be able to be, to like identify okay cool this is probably from blah 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 you have to kind of um, eat appropriate foods to kind of get that cycle of energy to kind of circulate because uh, I was just eating a lot of bad things creating blockages for myself. So it was just slowing me down and hindering that healing process of me recovering from this back injury. Cause I think um, we would do Reiki sessions and she would do Reiki. Um, and I think she did, I think there was one Reiki session that I really didn't feel anything, but the second one I actually started to see a difference. So one of the pieces of the healing session was doing a little inner work to where I actually was paying attention to myself and giving myself the energy and care that I give to, you know, my loved ones, my kids, because what I was trying to say was like. So was that a part of your meditation? Um, like a part of the message that you got from it? Yeah. Was it take better care of yourself? Yeah, pretty much. So it's like as much care as you put out to other people, you need to give that to yourself as well. Right, right. And then when you actually helped me heal through, uh, stuff that happened in the past, it actually released energy to give a, to to build the uh, desire to care. You know right. what I mean? Because I would just be so unhappy and right. not want to be bothered. And some days, you know, it just you would just be hot and cold. So mm -hmm. when I actually faced that situation, uh, like two or three days later, I just felt like I had the desire to care. You know what I mean? And right. in doing so, I purchased that deep tissue massager. Mm -hmm. Um, you got me some, what did you give me a back piece? This, what is this one? Is this thing, it's like a back arch thing. I don't know, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's supposed to help with stretching your spine out. So this was something else you saw on Facebook, <laughs> Facebook ads. So it's like a, it curves, uh, yeah, let me see. Let me see. It curves. But yeah, this was one thing. Uh, she bought me a, a seat cushion. <laughs> that's, that's really helpful because... Uh, but that's how bad your leg was like, and the nerve was being pinched. Yeah, it's, it's getting better. This was the... What are you eating? And this is the massager. Meebok. Yep. Got it from Amazon. Uh, she also ordered some sage oil. She was gonna create like massage oil. Try to kind of use that to help massage the area to help get it better. But um, things are getting better. Uh, started with the the diet, doing yoga. As funny as it sounds, well, it don't even sound funny. I just never really thought yoga was a way to exercise but when i did it and i realized how much you focus on yourself yeah. it's like hey that was relaxing that was peaceful you know what i mean it's right. it's a lot of reflecting on oneself you know what i mean like true, true. people don't like to look within you know what i mean because they find some some ugly some nasty some hurtful things but you will be surprised when you face that stuff when you're ready when you face that kind of stuff and you release it, you only make space for better memories and better emotions that you can live, you know, live to create. So that was one thing I learned. I'm glad I did it. So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to moving forward and getting over this back injury. I know we're going to get it done. Uh, as long as I got Keisha over here pushing me, I really don't have a choice because um, <laughs> I think we were sitting outside. Wasn't we sitting outside? I can't remember where we were sitting, but Keisha looked over at me and she was like, babe, stop crying. That's when I realized I need to get my, I need to get my stuff together. Like I can't keep trying to avoid looking within to fix this problem. But hey, she always say everything happens in divine timing. 
the bad honey. Don't mock me like that. <laughs> That's what you be saying, babe. You be like, it ain't. All in divine timing. Because it happens as it should when it should. Yeah. That's the truth. So I encourage y'all, if there's any, I don't even know what I encourage y'all to do. Meditation. Even if Use you- Use your free time to meditate. And like I always express to anybody who is a first time meditator, <laughs> is that um, meditation is not a quieting of the mind. It is not a clearing of the mind. It's more of you allowing the thoughts to come through. The thoughts that when you're trying to have a moment of quiet time, you start thinking random things. Allow those thoughts to happen. When you allow them to happen, they will gradually start to dissipate. You'll have a thought, ponder on it, respond to yourself, whatever it might be. Let it happen, release it. Let it go. Eventually, you'll find yourself not thinking anymore, and then you'll fall into that meditative state. So it's not like you have to sit um, crisscross applesauce like the kids say. You don't have to. You don't have to sit like that. Um, a lot of us can't. I don't like to sit like that very long. So, oh wow, nice. Sorry. Crisscross applesauce, you don't have to sit like that. <laughs> you don't have to sit like that. Like, just be comfortable. <laughs> Sorry. It doesn't have to be extremely quiet. You can play soft music in the background. Um, just create a time for you where you have at least 15 minutes to reach the meditative state, and then you have a little time afterwards as you're in that state. So. Okay. You take that 15 minutes to reach that state anywhere from some it doesn't even usually take that long for a lot of people. So it won't be 15 minutes for everybody, but once you get there, it, it usually takes me about 10 10 to 15 minutes to get there and I meditate as much as I possibly can and it still takes me a while to get there cuz you have um, your cluttering thoughts from the day, things you got to do, chores, to-do lists, this, that, and the other in your mind. And you have to take the time to release those thoughts. And I usually have a lot of thoughts to release. But yeah, don't let that get in the way or stop you from meditating. Because meditation is a way to speak to your soul, connect to your angels, your gods in the universe and listen and receive those messages yep 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 yep, yep. when the power is on special position speed setting oh there you go i'm about to say what the hell oh hit me with it hold on how you turn this thing down hold on how did that work oh <laughs> <laughs> hit you with your mother that's <laughs> me come on over here Oh wow, that thing got some. Yeah. Oh, how you doing? Now? Oh, okay. I see you hit the button. It go faster. Don't hit me with that. <laughs> no, we're not hitting nobody with that. It's ninety. It's me It's me too. Ooh, I'm excited to use that on you. <laughs> All right, y'all. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you uh, haven't already done so, subscribe as well. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. And what, babe? We, we are. are.